Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. We're going to be creating patches on our nail, any random shapes you want, no nail is alike the other. Then we're going to go in and we're going to do circles and it's optional if you'd like to add the rhinestones. Let's get started. The first thing I have begun by doing is a French manicure. This is going to serve me as a guideline. I know not to go under that. I'm going to begin applying the different color patches you see on over the French tip. The first color I'm going to be applying is this purple one. It's by Best Sense and it's number 36. I'm going to start this one. I'm going to start following the French manicure and I'm just going to go all around my French manicure and then you, there's where you could see how it serves me as a guideline, the French manicure. I know not to go under that. So we're going to bring this up to the side and all we're doing is patches over our nail. No rhyme or reason, just wherever you want to place your patches. No nail is alike the other. So your patches, you can't form a wrong patch. There we have our purple patch. Now I'm going to be using this green one by icing and it's called Money Tree. I'm going to be forming the new patch over this area. So I'm just making a sideways patch. And there we have it. Next I'm going to be using this, it's sort of like a teal color, and I'm going to be using this one called Caribbean Frost by Wet n Wild. I'm going to be placing this one in between, and remember what I said, there's no wrong way of applying these. It's up to you to decide exactly where you're going to want to apply them. I'm going to be using the same Caribbean Frost, and I'm going to be following um, the French manicure over on the bottom area. Now I'm going to be going in with a dark pink. This one is by Santi and it's called Flower Pink. I'm going to be filling in this little patch we have left over here. Just going all the way around it. And I'm also going to probably apply a little bit of the pink over the purple area. Once your patches are completely dry, you're going to go in and you're going to be adding a glitter polish for each of the colors you added. For example, for my purple polish, I'm going to be adding this purple glitter polish. So each one has a matching glitter pair. So I'm going to start off by applying the purple. The purple one I'm going to be applying is by Wet n Wild and it's called Spectacle. I'm applying the Spectacle over the purple polished patch only. I'm being careful not to go too far to the turquoise or to the pink. And there we have the purple. The next color I'm going to be applying is this pink glitter one by Sinful Colors and it's called Pink Forever. I'm going to be applying the pink glitter one over the pink patches only. And I made two pink patches so I'm going to move over to those areas and I'm just patting it on those areas only. The next one I'm going to apply over my turquoise area and this one's by China Glaze and it's called He's Going in Circles. And I have another little turquoise patch over here so I'm just very carefully and gently patting that on. Next I will be applying this green glitter polish over my green polished area. This one's by Simple Colors and it's called Call You Later. So I'm just going to go in and pat it on, pat it on over those areas only. And there we have our patches. Now I'm ready to go in and draw the circles you see in the nail art. What I've done is on one side, on one nail, I have placed them going that way and on the other one that way and it's a pattern. Some this way and some that way. So on the thumbs we're going to start in the center and we're going to go this way and fill it in a little bit on the side with the circles. And I'm going to be using a detailing brush with white water-based acrylic paint. I'm going to start off in the center and I'm just going to be very simply doing a circle. And your circles can range in size. They don't all have to be the same size and um, also not perfect because they're freehand. Try to do them as perfect as you can. But if they don't come out perfect, don't um, 
think your design is ruined. It's not. It looks pretty um, when your little circles are ranging in size and not so perfect. That's fine. So we're just going all around here. We started in the center. We're just going to go up this way. Here, for example, we could just put a half circle. Now that we've um, completed that side, we're going to fill in this entire area, but from here down, we're not going to do anything. So I'm going to go in and draw another circle. Now we're going to start going downward, curving down towards the bottom of the nail. So I'm going to be placing another one over this area. A smaller one over this side. Place another small one over this side. Now we're going to go in and we're going to be drawing random dots here and there. I ended all of them with a small dot in the end and I'm just going to go all around adding those tiny dots and I chose white but if you want to use any other different color it'll look pretty with whatever color you choose. I just thought this might look like little bubbles and that would be fun. So I'm just going in and just randomly, not really a pattern, just wherever I see space I'm adding a tiny dot but your dots can also range in size. They don't all have to be tiny. And that's it for the dots. The last step is optional. I'm going to be applying rhinestones on certain circles. I'm going to start off by applying clear polish over that big circle we made. I'm going to be dipping in my dotting tool and I'll be placing in that one a purple one, a dark purple one. So there's that one. I'm going to be placing clear polish on the top one, dipping my dotting tool, and I'll be placing a green one over that area. I'll move over to this bottom one, and I'll be placing a pink one on that area. The last one I'll be placing over the last circle we made, and I'll be applying a blue one over that area and you can keep going and adding rhinestones in all your circles but I decided only to add the rhinestones on certain circles and that's it you can see each nail has uh, the different patterns all of the nails have the different patterns no nail is alike then you add your little circles and that's how you're gonna get this nail art design I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try out this nail art using your favorite colors be safe and I'll see you next time bye